favourites to win this match against Premier League opposition. Vickers underneath it. McNabb didn't get hold of it. It's Morrissey. Nicely on the ground. Muir. Morrissey. He looked up for a target and didn't find Malkin. Johnson laid it back. Muir. Mungle. Morrissey. Look how quickly they close him down. That's a good ball up for Muir. Took a deflection. Malkin's in on it. Good stop by Baker. Irons to drive it back. Ward will clear finally. And it would have survived a tricky moment. And it's Kiwomi now away down the right. Mark by Vickers. Johnson arrives. This is Dizel. Again, Vickers with a good clearing header. Yallop. Higgins. Malkin and Linnigan together. That'll got to be a foul. And the referee, Mr. Cooper, may feel that merits a yellow card. Yes, he's calling David Linnigan, the Ipswich captain, over to him. And it certainly looks as though the lanky Chris Malkin had got the better of the defender. And if he'd been left to get round him, technically might have had a free run towards goal because there was no other defender between him and the goal, although it was a good distance. Yellow card, just over 15 minutes gone. Morrissey takes it. Well, he slipped, which is why he lost out. Baker tries to keep the ball low to aid the distance that he can kick it. Gazelle waiting for it to drop. It's not a good policy on an afternoon like this. You better attack the ball. It's gone straight out. Well, that's a close shave for Ipswich. There was a fortunate rebound. Attempted clearance, which hit Moyer. Moya and then dropped nicely onto the chest of Malkin and that was a good point-blank save. Walk forced to use his keeper again. Vickers. Nolan available. Gets round him. Good bit of football by the left back. Now can he cross decently? Nevin has it. Back to Nolan. This time it's in the air. Morrissey, great header back by Morrissey. Oh, Nevin! Coming in at the back post, from their lead. Big smile to light up the face of the Scottish international, Pat Nevin, whose presence on the field was in doubt right till the 11th hour. What a good, strong header back by Morrissey. Walks clearance, which only played it into the path of Pat Nevin. 18 minutes gone, and Tranmere lead the Premier League side. <laughs> Plenty here for Ipswich to look for, but that's gone right over the top. Nevin's 10th of the season club record signing from Everton back in August. Walks attempted clearance just fell perfectly for the little Scott and he's played in cup finals for Everton against Liverpool back in 89 but uh, I'm sure he'd count that goal among one of the most important that he scored. And Baker almost sold short and Ipswich are finding what Oldham found in the last round in the replay. It's an awkward place to come to, Prenton Park. Tramley with the distinction of having played at Wembley seven times in the last few seasons. 
courtesy of the centenary tournament and playoff finals and Leyland Daff finals. And the only prospect of a Merseyside team getting to this season's Wembley final in the FA Cup with both Everton and Liverpool dumped in the third round. And if they can beat a second Premier League side here, well maybe the dream won't seem so unrealistic. Nevin. Hobson who put a foot in. There's certainly been no sign of the ankle injury which made Pat Nevin's appearance in doubt. Mungol available, number five. Didn't need him. Muir. Oh, he's turned well, Muir. Malkin! The rangy number nine got to it. He's just looking at the referee. I'm not quite sure what he's querying. It's Tranmere's throw. Maybe he felt that it went behind for a corner. Mungol knocks it in. Morrissey tries to dig it out. But the whistle's gone. He claims that it hit him on the chest and he's got the mark to prove it. Well, that's a little ball knocked in for Muir, who turns well, Malkin who tries to get on, it came off the keeper, uh, was he claiming a foul? Dazelle's header on, Glenchev, Dazelle, Williams who's broken through, needed a better ball to Kiwamia but this is Gavin Johnson, well struck, I think Nixon took his hands away when he realised it was going over. It's well covered by Eric Nixon, and in fact, he uh, elects at the last minute just to drop his hands. Walk. Oh, Baker sliced his kick. Morrissey just let it go. Tranmere throw. Tranmere have only suffered one defeat in the last 12 games. That was away at Barnsley only beaten here at home at Prenton Park once all season. Oh. Mungol was obstructed by Neil Thompson. The whistle is gone. Free kick is given. And that's given Tranmere a free kick in a very central position. Now McNabb on the ball. Irons is there. So too is Muir. Five in the wall for Ipswich. Muir hits it. Oh, it did! It looked as though it was going to sail over with quite a bit to spare, but it dipped at the end. Baker forced to push it over. Oh, very precise. Nevin with the corner. This is Kenny Irons. Full-blooded. Walk. This is Malkin. Nicely down for McNabb. Mungol. Malkin. He's taken it and he's turned and he's. He didn't quite get free of John Walk, did he? But uh, maybe ne Nevin will. Malkin. Just wide. And with just over five minutes to go to half time, Tranmere with inches of going two up. Linigan's attempted clearance went nowhere at all. And he's managed to keep it in play. Thompson. This is Dizelle. Flick by Gaventia, cleared by Vickers, Linigan, Thompson, Nevin, steps around, Johnson, great ball for Malkin, still Malkin, oh it nearly got away from Clive Baker, Chris Malkin had done really well to hold off David Linigan, 
but it just forced him to come further and further to the right. And what a great ball too by Nevin. Forced wider and wider by the defender. Not quite beyond the dive of Baker. Kiwomya. Glencher. Leaves it for Dazelle. Neil Thompson. Out wide to Witten. Kiwomya. Gets the better of Vickers. Dazelle didn't get a connection. And the whistle goes to end the first half. Just the one goal from Pat Nevin after 18 minutes. Tranmere second in Division 1 with several opportunities to make it 2-0. But Ipswich will discuss in the dressing room too that they created opportunities. And will certainly feel that they... Morrissey continues his torment on the right. That came off the defender. Tranmere forced the corner straight away. They never really got the grips with Morrissey. Now to take this corner. Mungol comes short to him. Morrissey. Whatever they had in mind didn't quite work. Yes. Maybe they'd have done better to have knocked it in first time. Helped on by Witten. really holding in the wind and as it was knocked forward by Dazelle, Whitten was offside. Dazelle, this is Higgins, Irons, Nolan, Walk. Irons, and we can run through it. And nobody can quite get the ball out. Nolan, oh, good football, Nolan. Here's a chance. It hit Linigan's heels. He wasn't sure where it was, and it took all the pace of it. But little Ian Nolan, player of last season, a former non-league player with Marine, just danced through then when others had failed. It's an absolute swamp, that little section of the pitch. Cuts inside, walk, and then as he tries to drive it right across the edge of the six-yard line, hit the heels of Linigan. Gvenchev, Kiwomya leaves it for Dazelle, Higgins. changed his mind well, Baker looked as though he had plenty of time but he made a bit of a mess of it but hit Muir and fell to Nevin little ball through for McNabb can use Nevin again that may not go out into the wind War. Higgins Morrissey. Great ball through for Malkin. And Linigan who took it off him. Oh, there was an Ipswich break on now. Johnson. Witten. Witten. The best chance they've had. They have never got the better of Eric Nixon. And he makes good goalkeeping look easy, doesn't he, the big man? Steve Whitten looked as though he'd done all the hard work, but just look how much he spread himself, Eric Nixon. He made himself massive. Just nipped away from Benchev. Yala. It's only a throw. Yala. Witten, Dazelle, right foot, Dazelle. 
That was the only place they were going to be Gerrit Nixon this afternoon. It was right into the top corner. It was a real scramble in a quagmire of a goal now. Dazelle showed his qualities, controlling it with his left foot, right foot, right into the top corner. Kiwomyo on the left, faced by Higgins. Twists and turns him. Dazelle to help orchestrate things. This is Gavin Johnson, driven in hard. didn't go out of play. Now Yellow can cross. McNabb. Goal kick is given. 15 of their 31 matches this season have been drawn by Ipswich. And Mick McGiven would be happy to see that again here. Thompson just stepped up to take it off Morrissey. Now, Kiwomi away, he'll get to this. Nixon's come right off his line. He's beaten the keeper. Oh, it's hit the post. It counts. Gvenchev gives it to its the lead. And you'd have to look back at Eric Nixon, who took a decision to come streaming off his line when Kiwomi was put three. Hit the post and then just sat there and waited for the Bulgarian to arrive and score his second goal in English football in his eighth game. McNabb. Malkin, looked as though he was held. Nevin. Nolan. Gets in a good cross. Martindale. Morrissey. Well, was that an error of judgment by Eric Nixon? And the referee, Keith Cooper, has checked his watch again and the whistle's in the mouth. That's it. The side from the Premier League have proved the more resilient in the end. But Nevin's goal enabled Tranmere to lead for just under an hour, just over 50 minutes, before Jason Dazelle with that terrific shot into the top corner made it level. And then when Nixit came streaming out of his goal line and Kiwomi hit the post, the ball hanging in the mud and waiting for Gvenchev to arrive.